Captain's Log, Stardate 30973.4. We are currently in orbit around Starbase 10, transporting aboard supplies. This welcome, however brief, respite from the boredom of a few uneventful weeks. I know the old saying, be careful what you wish for, but right now, I would welcome almost anything to break the monotony, including... Admiral Robert Boyle sends you his regards, sir, and requests permission to come aboard. Permission to... Where is he, Lieutenant? When's he going to get here? At the time of the transmission, he was in transporter room three, sir. At this moment, he is boarding a turbo lift on level five. Correction, he is nearing the... Bridge. Admiral, I had no idea. That is by design, Captain. I thought it might be fun to arrive unannounced. One of the perks of being an Admiral is being able to pay a surprise visit to my nephew from time to time. Well, of course, Admiral. You're welcome aboard any time. Is there anything I can do for you? Do you have a spare guest quarters? Oh, uh, and I'm, I'm going to need an additional room. An additional room? Well, I'm not traveling alone. I brought someone with me of your acquaintance. Mom! Mom, why didn't you tell me you were coming? And and why are you wearing a Starfleet uniform? You're not in Starfleet. I'm sorry, but I thought it'd be fun, and, and Bobby said it would be okay. Lighten up, Jace. I know it's not exactly regulation, but seriously, what's the harm? Well, I guess. Great. Dorothy, get in the center seat. I want to take a hologram. JC, come here. Closer. You are the most adorable thing ever. Mom, not in front of the bridge crew. Dorothy, you look positively heroic. Jace, doesn't your mom look great? She looks like my mother, violating several Starfleet regulations. Mom, don't look at me that way. Fine. You look great, Mom. Thank you. When Bobby said you had a birthday surprise for me, well, I did have my doubts. You do have a history of forgetting my birthday. One time, Mom. One time ever. That could have been your brother. Smile, Chase. And Dorothy, try to look fierce. Computer, record static and video holographic imagery in one degree intervals. Download all images to my personal data storage. Captain, the monthly review team is waiting for you in the conference room. What shall I tell them? Go. Seriously, it's been pretty quiet around here lately. Your mother can handle it. I'll tell you, matter of fact, um, I'll go with you. No, sir, I couldn't possibly... No need to thank me. I'm happy to do it. And look how happy her mother is. She's having the time of her life. Let's go, Captain. Mom, if anything happens, call me. I mean anything.
Look alive, people. You've had it easy for a while, but that's over. I'm gonna whip you people into shape. Go to Red Alert. Bridge, what's going on up there? Why is there a Red Alert? It's your mother. She's pretending to be captain. She's having a lot of fun. Bring her about, Halsman. Shields up. It just makes me nervous. I could lose my command over a thing like this. I doubt it, sir. You're just following orders. If anyone should get into trouble, it's the Admiral. <sighs> Alright. Well, keep an eye on her, will you? Will do, sir. Fire Photon Torpedo! Sir? It's okay, there's nothing around. Try it low yield. you skulking around like a frightened little girl. That was a single low yield torpedo. A friendly nudge. But I have several dozen more here. So I'm already aimed at your weapons, your shield generator, and your bridge. Don't try me, Captain. There's no honor in defeating a human woman. You are weak. You are not. A worthy adversary. Consider yourself lucky that you met me today and not my son, Jason. He is not as slow to anger as I am. Now go and stay visible. I want to see you retreat. Our red alert. I got here as soon as I could. What the heck happened? Sir, where do I even begin? On second thought, I, I, I don't want to know. Just relax, Jace. Look around. The bridge is still here. Mom, Uncle Bob, I want to talk to you in your quarters. Commander Chamberlain, can you please escort them to cabin 503? Yes, sir. Jason, I love you. I said, I love you, Jason. I love you too, Mom. Helm, get us out of here. Set a course anywhere. <laughs> 